David, first of all, what do you make of the decision to end Roberto's time here? Uh, it was a difficult day yesterday for everybody at the football club. Um, I mean, I've been involved in football forever and um, it's happened on numerous occasions as a player, as a coach. and um, It's never an easy day. Um, and a good, man has, a good man has lost his job. And then that's that's always always difficult, um, but that's that's football management. Um, I think over the period, um, you know, you've got to win matches, and you know it's been it's been a difficult time for us. Um, and like I say, a good man has lost his job, and it was a difficult day yesterday. You've obviously been in and around the club. Have you been able to pinpoint reasons as to why the club has slipped from fifth in his first season a record points hole to where it is now? It's very difficult. We've we've got top players. Um, we, some of our performances, certainly that I've seen, have been outstanding. Um, and the, the the fine margins in football at the very very highest level at, at this level at this football club. They're so small, aren't they? Um, two semi-finals, so close to being in a in a major final, and it's just the fine margins, and it's it's very difficult, and it's it's very hard for for any manager or or any team when the, when those those fine margins are taken away from you. Given your involvement with the club over your career, how do you feel about taking charge at Goodison Park? Well, I'm I'm you know very very proud. Um, you know, I'm the proudest moment of my life yesterday when I got the call, but. At the same time, one of the most difficult days I've had being back here at the club. Um, my relationship with Roberto is outstanding. It is a fantastic personal relationship. He was the one who rubber stamped me coming back to this club uh, when Alan Stubbs was here, and he and he wanted me to when Alan wanted me to help him. Roberto said yes. Then when Alan left to, to go to Hibs, um, Roberto was the first one on the phone and, and to offer me the job. So I, I've got nothing but great words to say with him. Um, the way he was with me and the young players, the way he, he, he worked with the young players in training and, and, and got them involved in his squad. I, I've got nothing but great words to say about Roberto and he's he's a top guy. And yet, like I said, yesterday was a difficult day for everybody. Have you been able to speak to Roberto? Yeah, How is yeah. Um, the chairman the chairman phoned me late afternoon um, and, and I came back to Finch Farm um, and we had a chat and he offered, offered me the, the chance to take Sunday. Um, I said before anything I, I wanted to speak to Roberto, um, so I phoned him straight away. And, and typical Roberto, he was the one who actually said that to the chairman um, to put me in charge. So that's measure of the man, and um, doesn't surprise me. Uh, he's he's a terrific guy, uh, but that's you know that's football management, and it was a, it like it was a difficult day. It really was yesterday, um, and, and like I keep saying, a good man has lost his job. Probably very early to ask you this question, <laughs> but. Would you want this job long term now, or is that something maybe to aim for well, in future? Who wouldn't want this job? Who wouldn't want this job? Um, I have massive aspirations to to be a manager, um, and this is the only place I want to manage. Whether it comes now, whether it comes somewhere down the line, um, other people will decide that. I'm just very, very proud to to be given that opportunity on Sunday. Well, given you have got this opportunity, David, as well, and the fact that you work with the under 21s, mm -hmm. you know the kind of talent that's coming through. Yeah. What kind of appointment? Does this club need to make to make the best use of that? And are you in, uh, I suppose, a prime position in regards to that, given your experience with the well, under 21s? Well, first and foremost, we've got amazing talent here. Uh, the under 21 group at the moment, there's not just one or two. I keep saying it to people. There's there's an abundance of, of talent that, that are probably ready to, to, to play first team football. Um, what what we need is a manager who will integrate young players and top talent, and 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 that's that's a win in, and, and win games. You know, that's there's no secret that it could be anybody in charge. You have to win games. It's as simple as that. And um, over the period, we, you know, recently have, haven't won enough games. And, and like I say, a good man has lost his job because of that. Um, so whoever the new guy coming in, um, he will have. He's got top young talent anyway in the first team, and he's also got underneath that an under 21 group. The the nearly ready or ready most of them. To play in our first team, and and it's not just one or two; it's it's four, five, six, maybe maybe more, um, and that's really really is something that whoever takes over has, has got a lot of talent to work with. So, what do you make of those names that are being linked, the likes of De Boer, Koeman? Yeah, the, to the top managers, top managers, but it, it could be any, anybody. Whoever comes in has got to win, and this is this is a top club, so um, with with top fans who demand um, winning matches. So how's it working with you and Joe Royal? Because obviously he used to be it's your good. manager. He yeah. took you to an FA Cup yeah, final, he's working for FA me now. final win. <laughs> yeah, he's, it's nice that he's working for me now. Um, no, it's good. We have a great relationship. We did when I was a player. 
uh, both here and at Ipswich. Um, it's been brilliant to work with him, to tap into his knowledge and experience for the last two years here with the under 21s. It's um, we have a fantastic relationship, and uh, to have him next to me, to have John Ebrell, who's working with him as well, to have Big Dunk alongside us as well. That is, you know, we're, you know, you've got four passionate, massive Evertonians who 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 want to see this club succeed. Back to the dogs of war. Well, don't tell Joe that. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been able to do with the players today? Though? What's we, the mood like amongst them? Um, it, I have to say, we, we got the group in this morning. We uh, I spoke to them. I just said, listen, you know, everybody knows what a wonderful guy Roberto is. Um, and all I'm asking for is, is a couple of things um, that we wanted to work on this morning in training. Um, they did that. They responded fantastically well. They had a good session. Uh, we have a session in the, mor- uh, in the morning and then we'll go into the game. So, you know, there's not a great deal you can put into a group of players in two sessions, but, you know, we try to keep keep it basic and, and, and just work on a couple of things and they certainly responded to that. And is your plan to honour Roberto's promise and allow Tim Howard that send-off for Goodison Park this weekend? Yes, Tim will play. Yeah, he deserves that. He's been a fantastic servant <coughs> to this football club. Um, I told him this morning, straight away, as soon as he came in, that I wanted him to play. Uh, and he deserves that that honour, and um, you know, hopefully, he'll get the farewell and send off that he, he deserves. What kind of a, a figure has he been through his time here? Brilliant, you? brilliant. I've worked closely with him, um, you know, with a, with a, with a couple of our under twenty one players, and he's he's a fantastic role model. He's a great professional, and he's 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 been a great servant to this club, uh, and he's a good guy as well. He really is a good guy. So, what do you expect from the fans as, as well at, at the weekend? Well, I, I think the. I think there will be a change of mood. I think, um, you know, if we're being honest, that it, it's not been a difficult play. It's not been an easy place to to play recently. Um, I think the Evertonians will turn out in force. I think they will respect the likes of Tim playing um, and whatever team we pick. I'm sure they'll get behind us and and we have to give them something to shout about. I think I think I said to the players this morning. I th- we owe them a performance to, on Sunday uh, and we owe them a win and I think that you know the way we're going to try and play is it, it will get them up and, and, and they can get behind us. David, I was going to ask you that. I know we've only had a short <coughs> time to work with them. It may only be one game but what will your Everton look like? Well, I'm not going to tell you my tactics or anything like that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, but we've, we've, we've worked on a couple of things this morning um, and like anything, we'll, myself and Joe, uh, Duncan and, and John will come together this afternoon and we'll pick a team tomorrow. Uh, to win the game, and um, we, we certainly will want a performance, but we want the win as well. So we'll 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 do what's right, and uh, we'll do our homework. We'll we'll do do it as professionally as we would always do, uh, and we'll, we'll we'll come to some agreement this afternoon. I guess there's a determination there to end this season on a high note as well. So at least the fans are going home over the summer a bit happier. Without a doubt, that's that's key. When we said that to the players this morning, we have to finish on a high. We have to finish with a performance and a win. And you know, Evertonians have got to leave Goodison at five o'clock on Sunday afternoon with a with a smile on the face, and and that's really important to us. Obviously, you've mentioned about Tim. There could be other players who are out of contract. This be, could be their final game at Goodison. Will there be an awareness in your team selection to that? No, there, there won't be. I think um, Tim Tim was promised that by uh, Roberto that he would play, and I certainly want to honour that, and that's that's the case. Um, but we'll pick a team that we feel um, will 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 hopefully beat a Norwich team uh, and also perform. In terms of the decision now that the club has as well, how much of a pivotal moment could this be in Everton's history? Because we waited a long time for the investment. The investment's there now. There's a lot of talented young players here. Mm. Some of those players are being linked with other clubs as well. So how, how important a decision is this? How pivotal a moment could it be? I think it's always important. I think this is a top club. This is a, a, a top job for any manager. I think it's always important when the manager's job is up for grabs here. Um, the demands of our fans make it that. And... Uh, Whoever gets it, who, whoever gets the honour uh, of being Everton manager, um, will have to do, produce produce wins. Um, and I do, but I think it's vital that whenever the Everton manager's job comes up, it's always important. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Cheers, Dave. Yep. Thank you. All the best. All the best. All the best.